Bloody Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans and get today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Sunobi Skate Doll, Wolf, Koroi Suru, aka my dress up darling chapters 103 through 105. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel and in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, this adorable fussy kitty right here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. Also, something that we are starting to do is um, for anime live reactions so that we can avoid the copyright strike and um, show uh, the anime and manga on the screen, um, we are doing Patreon exclusive uh, anime live reactions and um, one of those series we're doing is 2.5D Seduction. So if you're interested in watching um, my anime live reactions, please uh, hit up our Patreon. The link for that is in the description box below. So, um, well, last time I covered uh, my dress up darling, um, Gojo got Marin's father's approval, but man, poor Gojo. He is just so clueless. Um, anyways, let's get to 103 first. See what's in store for us today. Did you see that Hanyeol from the Winter Comic Kit? Ah, yeah, I did. Oh, wait, it was an amateur. It was so good, I burst out laughing. It was really something else. Her face was so small, her legs were so thin. She was really, really cute. Hanyeol is all we've been hearing about from Comic Kit. That's a first, isn't it? It's difficult to find pictures of anything else. And you know what? Since Shiba Sensei posted his reaction, it seems his editor had to work through New Year's. Uh, for real? Yeah, it looks like his editor's um, office is spamming every agency looking for the girl. They're also looking, um, yeah, they're also looking for whoever made the costume. I love this color spread. It is beautiful. It really is. I love the outfit, too. The Shiba Sensei said if it's um, fine like this, it's fine. That's how good it was. If you think about um, how much Grab Your Magazine um, uh, with Hanyeol on the cover would make, there's no way you could just sit it, um, around doing nothing. I understand what they're, they're saying here. For those of you that don't know, um, sometimes what uh, Grab Your Magazines would do um, is they would uh, hire uh, cosplayers, and like famous cosplayers, and um, they would have them, you know, uh, pose for the cover uh, in their cosplays of their um, of their character. We've seen them of Roboco, and um, recently we saw, uh, in terms of an anime, we saw um, uh, Harley Quinn, a really good, nice Harley Quinn cosplay. But anyways, um, Miso Sensei shared it too. His editor could find it faster. No, um, he's done like photo shoots before, so they probably have connections. They've got some, uh, someone really huge in Grab Your Circles, uh, sen wait, Senu-san, was it? Yeah, he's really good. A lot of big shots are working to find, uh, the Hanyeol cosplayer. It's only a matter of time until they find her. Getting this much attention, they've got to be on Cloud9. Either way, um, they'll reveal themselves soon enough. You asleep? Uh, I'm awake, uh, now okay? Sure, wanted to ask about cosplay, um, about what we want to do next? Sorry. I won't be able to work on weekends until March. Are you doing some... Ooh, I wonder who this conversation is with. If this is Gojo and Marin or not. Are you doing something on the week, uh, on uh, the weekends? Since Hina Matsuri is coming up... Um, oh, which is Dolce. Uh, yeah, so this is Gojo and, and Marin. It's coming up. There's going to be a lot of different events. Some places are even starting this weekend. I'm thinking of going this year as well. So that's it. Cool. Um, you don't have to come if you don't want to. Aww. Poor Marin. Okay. Ooh, so Marin did go. So this is my first time. This is my first time at something like this. The exhibition is going to be magnificent. You'll get to see Hina dolls made during the Edo period. Really? Um, 
at the shrine nearby, uh, they start arranging Hina doll uh, displays in February. Amazing! Would you like to see? Yeah! I need to ask. We need to have a proper chat, but it's so rare that we're together now. I have to smile. I have to smile. The dolls look so beautiful. I don't know if my smile is working, or I feel so bad for them. But man, this is my first time like covering my dress up darling since um, binge reading 2.5D Seduction. As much as I love this series, man, 2.5D Seduction is just so much better. I love, I love, and again, I love my dress up darling, but man, 2.5D Seduction is really, really, really good. If, in terms of like a cosplaying series. Oh my god, it's so good. That was fun. I'm glad. Um, they were all cute, but they're all a little different from each other. I can't believe people were, are uh, so careful when they're choosing which one to buy. Um, oh, by the way, Gojo-kun, do you mind showing me around your showroom? Not at all. I talked to my cousin about it earlier. Oh, this is going to be good. I can't wait to see Gojo's showroom, though. But I do want to say this, though, in regards to um, Gojo and Okamura. I really do, their characters are similar yet different in terms of like finding themselves. Like Gojo is obviously, it's with his Hina dolls and he makes the cost, obviously he's making the costumes. And Okamura, despite not being the one making the costumes, he's finding himself through, um, through photography and also, um, being a yeah, finding himself and having like really incredible therapeutic break, uh, breakthroughs through um, cosplay photography. It's incredible. I, it's interesting how similar yet different these series are because both of them, both Gojo and Okamura, are going through similar journeys. Yet, yeah, um, like underlying theme wise, similar journeys, but so different. They're do yet their roles are different extremely different. Um, you haven't actually seen our dolls bef uh, before, have you? I've only seen the tools you used to make them, yeah? But if you want to actually make doll heads, uh, do you uh, go to something like a vocational school for making dolls? There's no special training involved. There's people who start from zero, too. Same with cosplay. There's people, and just not just cosplay, just uh, design in general. There's people that are self-taught and, do, and just do it from nothing. What, um, whoa, but I do want to start as soon as possible, so I plan to join a doll making studio as soon as I graduate. You know, after my parents died, I was living with my cousins for a while. I was depressed and shut off. My grandpa, he showed me some Hina dolls to give me something else to think about. I'm sure it was rough for him, too. See, I gotta point this out about Okamura. It's the same thing with Okamura. Okamura, he went through a horrible, it wasn't death, though. It was like a divorce. Um, he went through with his parents. It was really, really rough. But he lost himself in manga. And not just his parents, but, you know, I can't, I, I'm not going to spoil it too much. But he, that's how he turned to the Lyle and to 2D Girls. But, yeah. This might sound cool, but when I found something to be immersed in, like in Okamura's case, uh, manga and here um, in my dress-up drawing with Gojo dolls, I stopped thinking about things I couldn't do anything about. That happens. I do it to all of us do it. This is what I do. See, I love, see how this is therapy for me. I'm glad that I could fall in love with Hina dolls. I'm really grateful to my grandpa. So I want to be able to make them as soon as possible so that he can see them too while he's still in good health. Aww. Uh, I don't mean it like that. Um, it's not like he has health issues right now or anything. And well, but he is getting older though, so I understand. It's something I need to keep in mind. Have you decided what you want to do after graduating? Well, I, Gojo Kun, yeah. Back at Comic Get. Oh, sorry, it's my cousin. Uh, that's okay. Well, what's going on? Uh, Wanchan, where are you right now? I've got a surprise for you. Wanchan's back. Ooh. Ooh. 
who's not Sean? Let's find out. Uh huh? Hmm? What? What? What, Sean? You've grown so big. Um. Oh. No, who's this though? Like, okay. No, I mean. You, you haven't changed a bit, Hunachan. It took me by surprise. Really? Well, I have been exercising. So, um, this is my old neighbor uh, from back when I used to live with my cousins, the Yogi family. Hmm. You're Marathon, right? Uh, Grandpa keeps talking about you. This is my cousin. Uh, nice to meet you. So, are you guys back for good? Yeah, we moved back here. It's good to be back. Hunachan. Um, Nanchan. She totally looks like someone else, um, uh, doesn't she? I didn't recognize her at first. Yeah, <laughs> at some point during middle school, Nabara started resemble, uh, resembling me more. I asked Mio-chan, it seems like you, you're you also going to become, uh, wait, Kashira uh, Kashirashi like your grandpa, so an artist that specializes in making dolls, basically. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's really nice. Don't you have to, like, put in it, um, insane amounts of practice for that, though? At least three hours a day. That's crazy. You're already putting in that much work? Well, as of late, I haven't been able to. Yeah, kitty. I want to be able to make them as soon as possible so that he can see them too while he's still in good health. Yeah, she feels kind of guilty about that, Marin does. Can you make cosplay clothing for me? Um, but the thing is, though, it's good practice for him. In terms of clothing, though, cosplay clothing, it's good practice for him. And also making the um, the cosplay props, you know, it actually is going to help him in the long run. You got school too. I'm sure it'll be rough, but you'll be just fine. I'll make some tea. Marichon, would you? I'm sorry. It slipped my mind. I, I have to go to my job. Um, I'll be leaving. Aww. Those two, those two seem to be doing well. Yeah. Um, do you think Marichon is Wachon's girlfriend? I think so. She's so cute, I wanted to chat a bit more. My dad gets here, we'll have to um, have him help clean up these boxes. Uh, Mom, aren't you tired from driving? Go take a bath. You know, I think I'll do that. Wachan is going to live with Miyo-chan. Uh, this is the flashback, here we go. Is Mom and Dad too? No, just him. Good morning. Um, oh, Hara-chan, are you home? Yeah, come on in. Where's Wachan? He's on the second floor. Oh, what, Kitty? Oh, he's being fussy. Watch on, um, Pakumogu, wait, Pakumogu is going to start. You going to watch it? He says he's tired. Aww. Maybe he was, he is tired. He was taking a walk earlier. Oh, I got to go potty. Oh, watch on cries in the middle of the night. Yeah. Aww. Well, um, he'll blink and he, well, He'll blink and he's under a new roof. He just hasn't uh, been able to adjust to, um, to new places, that's all. He doesn't remember crying when he wakes up. There's not much we can do. All we can do is give him time. Even adults have plenty of trouble when losing their family in an accident like that. Um, for it to happen to a child, it's impressive that he was able to even attend their funeral. I really wish we could help him somehow. There's not much to, uh, we can do. I get you, but I think it's for the best that we leave him alone for a while. That's the thing, and I can tell you that from, obviously, from my experience. Sometimes, when you're in this kind of situation, you just need to let the person grieving have space. Just give them their personal space. Just don't smother them. They just need their time to process everything, to breathe. In terms of a kid, th this is when you're an adult. But when you're a kid, though, when it's a kid, you probably should hug them for at least, give them a hug, and then let them be. Yeah, kitty, I agree. Kids are smarter than you think, but like, if they're really, really young like this, they probably, you probably should at least give them a hug. They need that comfort. Adults don't need it, well, at least me anyway. Everyone grieves in their own way. That's right, kitty. But kids like, young kids like that, they, they need, they need that comfort. They need that hug. Um, good afternoon. Aww. Takumogu eats a lot today, just like every day. 
You put oh, she screams at him. He puts everything he sees into his mouth. Good afternoon. Oh, she screams at him. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Watch on is on the second floor. No, John, thank you for visiting so often. Watch on can't play with you yet. But I'm sure he feels happy that you're reading to him. Good afternoon. Pardon the intrusion. Uh, welcome. Watch on isn't home today. Where'd he go? He's taking a walk with his grandpa. That's good. The weather's so nice. Yeah, kitty. Oh my, what a coincidence. Good afternoon. What's up with that luggage? Watch on's clothes. I'm going to deliver them. It seems uh, he took a liking for Hannah doll, so he wants. So he said he wants to live with his grandpa. I've seen them smile for the first time in ages. I'm so happy. That's so nice to hear. I'm so glad. But you know, it's a bit sad because both my family and Miori wanted him to stay with us. Huh. Maybe we'll tag along with you then. Uh, well, you are moving out next week yourself, so I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. Aww. Watch on, Papumoku's gonna start. Let's go. I don't want to. Why not? Because I want to look at Hina dolls. Dude, this sounds very familiar, doesn't it, 2.5D seduction readers? You're being weird. Hina dolls are girls. Why do you like dolls for girls, even though you're a boy? It's disgusting. Oh, I really hate Watch On. Oh, oh. Marin, she's crying, but oh, I know, I know, boys, boys, you go through this. Boys that look, um, boys that collect dolls or just like cute things in general, like girl things in general. You, you guys go through this. I know you guys have gone through this. I feel so bad. Poor Okuma. Now let's get to 105 here. Gojo-kun, uh, poor Marin, she feels so guilty. Gojo-kun, can you make cosplay clothing for me? Please, Gojo-kun? But here's the thing, though, that Marin doesn't understand. Well, one, Gojo said that it actually is helping him with Hina dolls. Because, Kitty, be quiet. It's because it, how um, the stuff he's sewing... The techniques he is learning, um, the different techniques he's learning from making the specific clothes, is help is going to help him with um, with the Hina dolls that he makes. The sand. Kitagawa, do you know where Gojo went? Um, I don't know. Why are you asking me? What do you mean why? You're close, aren't you? Let's go to karaoke today. I want to go too. Kitty, oh, my kitty's so fussy. Oh, God. I'm about to cry. Rivers love called Damn it, Kitty. Why? Why are you being so fussy? Um, I give, I give her a love. Oh, I give her a love call. Poor Marin. Poor Marin. Oh, what happened? Where did it go wrong? I want to know too. Where did it go wrong, Kitty? Where did my situation? Oh, my situation went. Everything went wrong when I turned thirty. I don't know and I don't want to know. I, oh. One of my shoes- One of my shoes has disappeared. Where- What the fuck is with these lyrics? Where do I go? Where do I go? But you know I really- You know I really- it's Scary how sound- How uh, lyrics- How relatable lyrics could be, huh? But man, speaking of that, if you- if, For those of you that don't know about this- Go, and I strongly recommend recommend this if uh, you grew up in the 90s and watched uh, Will Smith. And you should know about Will Smith being a rapper. Go listen to Will Smith's new song that dropped this past week. Because, man, that song, he's really talking about what, what has been happening lately in, um, in his life. I feel so bad. For, I feel so bad for him. I know Kitty does, too. Fuzzy ass cat. Sonny san, so so it was you. What a coincidence. Sorry about just calling out to you. Um sorry, I fucked this up because Kitty is distracting me. Kanakan? 
Uh, sorry, Sai. So it was you. What a coincidence. Sorry for just calling out to you. It's fine. I'm off today, so I was just visiting the bookstore. Ooh, poor Gojo. Did something happen? I see. That sounds rough. Yeah. Memories are meant to be forgotten with time. I wonder why it's always the bad memories that stick. Yeah, kitty! I know. You remember those things so well, as if it hap uh, as if it was happening in front of your eyes. It's just that vivid. Do you mind if I talk about myself for a bit? Yeah, kitty! When I was a student, I wanted to get into clothing design, but my father was really against it. Oh, I know this story going to be relatable to a lot of you. What are you going to do if you attend a specialty school for it, but it all turns out to be nothing? Do you know why everyone sells so many clothes? It means that there's already plenty of people that's, um, that make them. There's no need for you. There was nothing I could say in return. I was a coward. I was so afraid that I couldn't think of the future. Thinking back, even if I had failed, I wouldn't have thought much of it. I'm not afraid of making mistakes or failing. There's no way to predict how everything will turn out. I chose a different path back then, but I wanted to do something that I liked even if only in the smallest of capacities, so I started the work I'm doing now on my wife's recommendation. My life now, it's peaceful and fulfilling. My only regret is that, it's not that I didn't um, choose the path of becoming a clothing designer, it's that I couldn't tell my father Aww, that I wanted to do it anyway, that I couldn't tell him how I really felt. Oh, you need to say how you truly feel for your own sake. Perhaps this is why we are trapped in the past. Yeah, kitty! Having your feelings ex um, accepted is a different matter. Merely expressing yourself is what I feel is important. Yeah, kitty, I see you trying to express yourself. It took me a long time to realize that. Whoa. Speaking of someone, yeah, yeah, she's going to do it too, but man, that is straight up preaching though. Like this here, the, this chapter here, uh, this, I want to come, go back to what, um, to what Asami-san said, because this is really, really important. Where is it? This part. Um, let's see. My, uh, my only regret is not that I didn't choose the path of it. Here it is. Um, I want to go back to... Yeah, I'm gonna, I want to read his story again, because, my God. When I was a student, I wanted to get into clothing design, but my father was really against it. I, again, I know there are many of you that can relate to this, because, like, whether it's your sexuality, um, in terms of, like, coming out, um, where you have parents that didn't, or, like, a father that didn't approve of your sexual, of being gay, or like, or um, parents that didn't approve of um, your significant other that you, whether you're straight, again, whether you're straight or gay, um, or bisexual, lesbian, whatever. Um, or the career path you chose to take. Um, you, there is that. So th there's this that you, um, you can relate to. What are you going, um, and also career, yeah, as he says career path. What are you going to do if you attend a specialty school for it, but it all turns out to be for nothing? Yeah, kitty! Stop being naughty! Um, do you know why everyone sells so many clothes? It means that there's already plenty of people that make them. There's no need for you. And I know he was going to say, he should have said, like, that, yeah, there's still a need for, it means I could, there's plenty, of, that means that I could create something new and people will like it, people might like it. It means there's a big market out there means there's room there's room for me there's room for me there was nothing there was nothing I could say in return yeah there was plenty of you could say in return it means there's a, a big audience there's a stage for me there's a big stage for me um I was a coward I was so afraid that I couldn't think of the future but I understand though 
I do. Especially if you're dealing with um, a strict father like that. That doesn't support you. My, I'm lucky with my dad, though, however. My dad is really liberal. So he supports any decision I make. But anyways, thinking back, even if I had failed, I wouldn't have thought much of it. I'm not afraid of making mistakes or failing. Kitty isn't afraid of making mistakes or failing either. My kitty is bold as hell. Um, there's no way to predict how everything will turn out. I- Set up, shut up! I chose a different pa uh, path back then, but I wanted to do something that I liked, even if only in the smallest of capacities. So I, I started um, the work I'm doing now on my wife's recommendation. That is awesome, right there. Having a supportive partner like that is like, is what, um, is what everyone strives for in life, is to have someone that supports your dreams. That's the ideal partner, but significant other. There we go. My life, see, because he says here, Isami says, my life now is peaceful and fulfilling. When you have a partner that supports your dream like that. You see how happy he is? He, he says his life, because his wife supported his dream and he got to go out and do what he always wanted to do, his life is peaceful and fulfilling. But his only regret is that is not that I didn't choose the path of becoming a clothing designer, designer. It's that I couldn't tell my father that I wanted to do it anyway. That I couldn't tell him how I really felt. There are many people out there that feel that have been in this position, settle quiet, that have been in this position where they never got the chance to tell um, their father that they achieved their dream. They, um, they, they, um, well, not that, not just achieve their dream. They, they saw it, well, their father probably saw them achieve their dream, sure. But they never got the support from their father and never got to be at their deathbed to get the approval, you know, get their father's approval at all before their father died. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. But, Katie, be quiet! being so noisy. You need to say how you truly feel for your own sake. Yeah, you know what? Because as Asami said, if you don't get to tell your parents, especially your, if you're a son, especially, um, tell your father how you really feel, then you're going to regret it. If you really will. Or in the case of, I know it's probably sexist, but fuck it. But if the truth is, and whether activists like it or not, boys really want the approval of their father. That's what they want. And if they don't, especially like in Sami's case here, he says straight up that he never got to do, he never got to, um, tell his father um, that I couldn't tell he couldn't tell him how he really felt he never got the chance to do it and that really really sucks and his father probably got to see probably saw it from the sidelines that really sucks I feel so bad for Isami I do but In terms of the direction of the series, and again, comparing this to like 2.5D seduction, in terms of underlying themes, we're, we are getting some, we're getting very familiar underlying themes that's very, very similar, but still obviously extremely different, which I like. But the thing that's really kind of frustrating me with Marin is, remember, as I said earlier, Gojo specifically said to Marin, making her costumes was helping him um, with uh, the Hina dolls because he is learning different te uh, sewing techniques. He's learning different techniques to make accessories 
that was going to help him with his Hina doll making. That's why, I'm, like, when Marin is, like, flipping out like this, I'm like, what are you talking about, woman? It's he, he told you this was helping him. I hope Go uh, Gojo's going to have to, like, go in on her on this. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more uh, My Dress Up Darling content. You always can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.